Every student from Hong Kong who came to study in Brisbane would have asked themselves this question. Why? Is there a Christmas meal walking across the road? First of all, it's not a Christmas meal. The ones we cook are domesticated. Look at the meat it's got. Makes way more sense. Second of all, it's not even turkey. The official name of this type of bird is megapod, which means big food. Remember, in the bird world, men do the crazy stuff. Male megapods wear a fancy ruff and make mounds out of leaves. They are nests for females to lay eggs in. Then the female just leaves. The male bird then keeps the temperature of the mound at 33 to 35 degrees, with the magic of sleep deprivation, which kills them. The male bird basically tires itself to death while taking care of the nest. The nest works like compost, and the heat from the bacteria incubates the young. When the babies get out of the eggs, they are all alone, but they know how to fly within hours. Imagine a human man building a house that is fancy and smelly. So that a woman may give birth in his house, they fight all men who cross their house. A woman arrives and just leaves her baby there. Then the man stays to make sure that the house rots in the right way, so that the babies will grow just right. Then the man leaves and dies, and then the baby wake up in the house one day, realize they are orphans, and learn to walk within an hour. That's how brush turkeys do. It's 4 a.m. It's pitch black outside. You are sleeping. You hear this? <coughs> It's an ibis. It has a weird bill. It was for digging out crayfish and mussels from the mud. Now it does this. No one is sure whether fries are healthy for them, but their entire bill has been in bins. So don't feed them. Their nests are on palm trees. This is an ibis baby. In 2007, there were too many ibises in Sydney, so people sprayed canola oil on the nests to kill the eggs before they are even babies. Ibises grow fast. This is a three-week-old teenage ibis going through an emo phase. They used to live inland around places with water. But there was a drought, so they now live in any places with water, and people are pretty cool with it, I guess.